Hello nerds and nerdettes, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sebastian Koberg and I would like to welcome you to the very first PolygonReview.com StarCraft 2 broadcast. As some of you will be aware, I used to do interviews with the big names in StarCraft Brood War back before there was any StarCraft 2 beta of any kind. But now, as the beta is drawing to a close and we are less than two months away from the retail release of StarCraft 2, I'm back with a whole new site design, much upgraded video production and uh, whole lot of new enthusiasm as well. This uh, episode I will bring something special to you, namely an interview with Husky Starcraft, the most subscribed commentator right now and someone that you will be familiar with for sure. We will talk about not only his uh, past year and the successes that led to his current state of fame, um, but also about um, eSports, StarCraft 2 in general, and uh, some of the issues involving uh, it becoming said eSport and uh, Battlenet 2.0, the controversies regarding chat rooms and etc. And also talk about how that might be resolved. Above and beyond that, he will drop some uh, very interesting hints and teasers about upcoming projects and uh, you do want to hear that. So before we kick things off, let me just give a few quick announcements. This video will be available on YouTube as before, but also on Blip TV, so you can choose what platform you prefer. The interviews in themselves, uh, without this intro, will be available as free podcast via iTunes. Uh, you'll find all those links in the header of polygonreview.com, right next to the Twitter and Facebook link. So if you like this, befriend, follow, subscribe it. Now, without further ado, I'll give it to you, Husky Starcraft. Hello and welcome everybody to this brand new Polygon Review StarCraft 2 broadcast interview with the man of the hour, Husky StarCraft. Welcome Husky, how are we today? Doing great man, thanks for having me once again and it's good to uh, have you back doing interviews again. It's very good to be back and uh, to have you as the first guest uh, again. Uh, to be honest, you were the first person I interviewed a long time ago, back in the Brood War era, uh, when there was no beta in sight. And uh, since that, yeah, it's been almost a year now. A lot of things have happened, hasn't it? Oh yeah, it's been a crazy, at least for me, um, it's been a crazy ride the last whole year. And it's uh, pretty exciting, and it looks like it's going to continue being awesomely crazy uh, as it goes on. And I can't <laughs> wait for it. Well, we kind of like Awesome Crazy, uh, especially since the uh, StarCraft scene has truly changed itself, uh, not just because the sequel has finally landed on our doorstep and soon also on our retail doorstep, but because of the commentator scene and the amount of content that's now available that just wasn't there before. Because when you started... Uh, well, which is a year ago, you did a uh, anniversary video just a couple of days ago. There were a whole band of uh, commentators out there, and it was uh, a more uh, diverse scene, but it was much smaller, collectively speaking. Nowadays, uh, you and your comrade in arms, HD Starcraft, are truly dominating the field, alongside Day9 and a couple of others, but you truly represent Starcraft 2 in the eyes of YouTube, so to speak. What has been the secret? Uh, well, I don't know if there's been any secret, and you're very flattering there. When I did uh, when I did start commentaries, you're right, there was about uh, probably 10 or 15 commentators, maybe even more than that, who were all doing StarCraft 1. And so when I got into it, I wasn't expecting you know that much because, I mean, there are so many people doing it already. They've been doing it for years. And I... I just did it for fun, and to be completely honest, it was my excuse not to do homework in college. And so I'd be like, well, I could do this math assignment, or I could make this sweet video. And uh, I've played StarCraft since I was like 10, or no, I was about 11 when I started playing StarCraft. And uh, I, I mean, I've always played it. It's always been my favorite game by far. I 
I, I would I will play that game forever. I still even play it every now and then, even though StarCraft Two is out. So I don't know. I just got into it, and then when the StarCraft Two beta came along, um, I just really powered. I, I like I powered through making videos. I, I invested almost all my time into it, and it didn't help my grades, but it sure helped my YouTube channel. And so. I I just guess, you know, once the beta started, people were super excited. I was super excited. I guess it rubbed off a little bit and my channel got pretty popular. So, I don't I don't really follow the other commentators, so I don't know exactly where they're at right now. I know a couple of them are getting close to 20,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. As far as my personal channel, it just happened to get popular and I hopefully people still like me and I'll, you know, keep doing what I do. The numbers seem to speak for themselves and Congratulations to that. Uh, but I take it uh, it's rather perseverance and enthusiasm than some God-given talent then uh, behind uh, your success. Yeah, oh, I can definitely agree with that. Like, I mean, I just, me and HD, we have very different commentating styles, and we're both about the same level of popularity. So, I mean, it, it, there's no one, you know, secret recipe to getting out there. I just, me personally, I just would upload tons of videos every day, and I was talking to the community, and people would find my stuff. And when the when the beta came out, I had about 10,000 subscribers, and then, of course, it, it grew a lot quicker. The, the first 10,000 took me... A uh, good seven, almost eight months, I believe, and um, and then and then once the StarCraft Two beta came out, those a lot more people were getting into StarCraft Two, which I'm sure we're going to talk about the popularity of StarCraft Two a little bit later. But uh, yeah, it's it's just awesome, and I I want to keep doing it. And now that I get such good feedback and such good response to the videos I upload, I am I'm super excited. Like I have so many projects I want to do that I mean, there's just no way that I can do them all. But I'm going to do my best to try. Yeah, I noticed that you've done some uh, tutorial, very basic, this is how you start playing the game from scratch kind of videos that uh, seem... Yeah, I, uh, I actually just up yeah, I just uploaded that, and those are actually really fun to do. I was, uh, a lot of people, uh, tons of people, this is probably my most requested thing, is to do tutorial videos, because people who watch commentaries a lot of the time, they're watching to learn, like they're watching to see what the good players yeah. do. I mean, of course, there's the people who just want entertainment, but there's also the ones who want to learn. And I'm not the best, you know, tactful master of StarCraft or anything like that, but I definitely think with just my experience of watching so many games and playing so much that I, I can at least give pointers to people who are just beginning in StarCraft 2. So that's actually a lot of fun. And for those people who don't know, my job is actually being a tutor. Like, I help people learn whatever. And uh, so it, it's just kind of my natural habitat to help people learn StarCraft. So that should be something that I continue to do, and I have a lot of fun with it. I just uploaded the first video, and uh, hopefully I have some time. That's one of the projects I'm talking about that I want to do. Hopefully I have some time to continue that series and to make it a lot better. The feedback from the people has been uh, pretty good so far, though. That sounds very interesting. We hope to see uh, more of that very soon. But talking about um, the other end of the StarCraft II uh, circle, well, a circle doesn't have an end, but you know what I mean, the, the stars, <laughs> uh, the high competitive play, uh, you and uh, HD StarCraft uh, hosted the very biggest, the most star-studded and the richest uh, invitational tournament uh, of the StarCraft II beta, uh, the HDH Invitational sponsored by iRIP. First of all, uh, how did you manage to pull that off? Uh, you managed to not only get a lucrative sponsor, but also direct sanctioning from Blizzard. They gave you beta keys to give out, uh, at the very least. How did all that come about? You know, it was pretty crazy, man. Um, I'm not paid by our sponsor right now, so like I... I'm not I'm not plugging them to, you know, make more money or whatever, but seriously, iRIP was like an incredible sponsor. Um basically what happened was about oh, it was a couple weeks after the beta started, the iRIP sponsor came forward to us and we get we get offers for for tournaments quite a bit and we're usually really skeptical because there's usually some sort of string attached or we have to do something that we're not comfortable with or it's a product we don't really, you know, think is appropriate and uh but with the iRIP one, he, he pretty much came forward and he was like, hey guys, we're thinking of sponsoring a tournament and uh, this is how much we're willing to throw down for the prize pool. What do you guys think? And me and HD talked it over. And we were like, okay, well, what what kind of ideas did you have for the tournament? And they pretty much just said, do whatever you guys want, set it up however you want, and uh, we'll provide the prize pool. So that was really 
uh, a good incentive for us because me personally, I don't like being told what to do. Even if I'm getting paid for it, I, I'd like to prove that I can do something on my own. That's kind of why my YouTube channel is my my pride and joy is because I did that all by myself. I didn't associate with anyone else um, until HD later, of course. But I mean, I, I pretty much built it up by myself without anyone telling me what to do. And so this tournament was 100% me and HD. That's why we took that sponsorship is because they were just like, you know, here's the money. We're going to trust you and fly with it. And so we did the best we could. It was our very first tournament and we learned a crazy amount of stuff. Like there's just so much stuff that comes up you would never think of. 